Ready, set, go. What's up guys, welcome back to SPL Society. Today we're at the storage unit, so let's open it up and check it out. So when I moved out of Freddy's, I basically just picked up all my tools and threw it in here. Been sitting here for a little bit and I haven't had time to really organize anything. I actually had a storage unit before that I worked out of, turned it into kind of like a shop. So this storage unit's a little bit different. So I'm gonna have to do things a little bit different, but I have an idea. So there's some main things that I need to focus on uh, right off the bat. First is organization, uh, get everything organized. Have a place for everything. If I have a place for everything, at the end of the day when I'm done working, um, I can put it back where it's supposed to be. That way I never lose anything. Number two is power. Uh, this storage unit has 110 volts right by the door. Um, it's probably only like a 15 amp circuit, so probably like my toolbox, the little small accessories and stuff like that. But it also has a 50 amp, 220 volt RV plug. Um, I can plug into that and basically split off to like my table saw, my air compressor, my router table, more of the stuff that needs more power basically. Number three is lighting. Um, I'll have to see when I go back and edit this video. It looks like it's okay, but if I'm ever here working at night, um, it only has four sets of fluorescent bulbs and it's a little bit dark. So I want to get some lighting in here. That way, if I need it, I have it. The other problem is uh, I do have two vehicles back here. One of them's, mm, both of them are kind of inoperable, but the plan is to keep the two vehicles in the back and then keep my other blazer up here in the front. The issue with that is my table saw. To use the table saw, I'd have to have it take up a lot of the space and I can't keep it stationary. If I did keep it stationary, I wouldn't be able to pull any of the vehicles out. The plan is to fabricate something that I could put the table saw on that has casters. That way, if I need to pull a vehicle out, I can move the table saw out of the way. I also have a few other ideas, but I think today I'm just gonna focus on kind of organizing stuff and figuring out a better plan for what I'm gonna work on first. So I'm gonna kind of move stuff around and get it as organized as I can. Then I think the first thing is to kind of plan out the base that I wanna build for the table saw. So let's get to it. So as you can see, it's uh, it's a mess in here. And uh, it's gonna take some time to get this organized like I want, but I think I've got an idea on how I kinda want stuff laid out. So I'm gonna show you guys kinda what my idea is. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know. So if we start in the front of the unit, you got your light switch over here. I think this area, obviously, clean up all that crap, get it out of the way. I think this area I'm gonna keep clean. Maybe, um, I think I have a mini fridge that I could put right here, put some water in there, maybe some snacks and stuff for when I'm working. All these shelves and stuff, I think I'm gonna move towards the end. And my big toolbox, I wanna put right here. The metal supplies cabinet, this cabinet right here, I think I'm gonna put right next to it. Or maybe I'll put toolbox here and the supply cabinet here. This welding table slash um, table saw, I think I'm gonna move that over to this side because my idea is I kinda want tools and storage along this wall. And then I want table saw, uh, welding station, so like woodworking, welding stations, um, bigger materials like uh, sheets of wood and stuff like that. I think I wanna keep on this side. Um, obviously in the back I can't really do much back there. So as far as electrical, um, this is that 50 amp plug. So you guys can see it's a four prong plug. So you have a ground, 
you have 210 volt so that'll be 220 or I could come off of either leg for 110 volt and then this is your neutral so if you're running 110 volts you can go uh, hot here neutral here or hot here neutral here or 220 volts will be um, the two hots together um, so I think I can go and pick up a plug for that I got one of these enclosures from my work and it's basically just a big metal box um, it had a few holes in it so I put these wire clamps in there and there's also one on the top so I can go out of that plug into here and then I can separate out so I could have like table saw um, air compressor um, router table or whatever I could I could add holes to this and have extensions um, off of this box this will be like my distribution box I would like a breaker panel in here um, but it is expensive so um, I would not recommend doing this it's a little ghetto and it's not the safest thing um, of course ideally you would have a breaker panel in here and I would have a breaker for the table saw a breaker for the air compressor a breaker for the welder or whatever else um, as long as I make good connections and I make sure that my wire is routed um, safely and I use the tool safely I should be okay so that's the plan on electrical now as far as the table saw I think I've got a pretty good idea on this too I think the plan is here I'm gonna get some angle iron and I'm basically just gonna make one big rectangle and that table saw is gonna sit on the angle iron now I want to keep it pretty low I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a base and I'm gonna look at some casters order some casters and I'll put the base on top of the casters and see how it feels you don't want to have it too high where you can't reach and uh, kind of get out of the way um, it may be okay it may not be okay so it's just one of those things I'll have to see if I don't like it with the base sitting on top of the casters then I will have to make like some legs that extend up and then that way the casters will be on the ground and the frame will be lower it's kind of hard to put in words but I've got a good idea on that also I know it's hard to see but this cabinet right here this storage cabinet is sitting on top of like a moving dolly um, hopefully I have enough angle iron left over maybe I'll get some extra and I want to build a base for that and put casters on that I want to keep everything as mobile as possible obviously um, the shelves and stuff are gonna be hard to be mobile but all of my cabinets my toolboxes the table saw I want that to be mobile that way you know if I need to pull vehicles in and out of here or um, let's say maybe I move to a different place I want it to be easy to move stuff out of the way it's really good for cleaning as well you know if you can move stuff out of the way that way you can sweep underneath it obviously using the table saw cutting MDF cutting you know any type of wood or anything like that it gets really dusty so having those things on wheels where I'm able to move it out of the way so I can clean underneath it is a big advantage I think I'm gonna end the video here I didn't get a whole lot done today um, but I realize this is gonna take a long time my original storage unit I think back now and I mean it took me all of six months to really get it set up like I wanted it I think I'm gonna go tomorrow pick up some angle iron maybe I can order some casters tonight and see if I can get them by tomorrow that'd be really cool get back in here and start the base on the table saw I'll pick up a cord from Home Depot I could start figuring out electrical in here so yeah that's pretty much it it's gonna be really nice to have a workspace that I can uh, be creative and have fun and work on projects that I enjoy so you guys stay tuned uh, I know this stuff is kind of boring uh, but I just want to film kind of my journey and make content for you guys uh, I've been wanting to make content for a long time I'm really committing to it I'm trying to do my best I know over time I'll get better at editing and stuff like that and hopefully have a lot cooler content than cleaning out my storage unit but yeah if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up um, if you have any suggestions or any questions leave them down in the comments don't forget to subscribe like I said I'm gonna have a lot cooler content than just cleaning out my storage unit coming up so you guys want to stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one